all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol sndl sundial growers inc and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors welcome to my channel invest for tomorrow to all my subscribers welcome back and let's jump into this chart so as we saw this run up it was just this candlestick in the aftermarket hours and we started talking in the comments on sndl about different ticker symbols that were resembling that effect. I went ahead and I was trying to find news. Everybody was trying to find news and I really appreciate the integrity and honesty amongst each other. So shout out to every single investor and viewer that was really working towards finding information on this and sharing valid information with other investors. I'm really big on that. I do want everybody to know that it's not just my voice and these videos and the charts everyone has a voice in this community and in this channel and you guys all are encouraged and have the right to go ahead and share your opinions your thoughts or piggyback off of what i state in the comments down below and that day we were all searching and trying to find information there was no news out and i started finding my own um, analysis and i was looking at all these different ticker symbols and i found three that were pretty similar and it was sndl T-L-R-Y, which is Tilray, and then also ACB Aurora Cannabis. And when I did all that analysis, I found that in those three, they were having a similar pattern. Then there was a lot of other ones that everybody went ahead and commented down below. But I was, I was understanding these three charts pretty well. Then I started looking around the whole sector, and when I found out about the headline news, it kind of just all clicked. And... It was, it was pretty awesome. So if you guys haven't had a chance or you're a first time viewer and you didn't get a chance to see that video, I'm going to put the link down below so that you guys don't miss it. And it was pretty awesome to, to actually have found that and kind of put two and two together. I mean, there was no exact direct information. It was all indirect. But if you went ahead and used some common sense, which is how I found this and put two and two together and you had some back information, right? You had some background on what was going on. And then I also analyzed the charts previously, right? In the month and why they reacted that way. And then why it started reacting in this way. I could only put those two and two together and say, okay, well, that's why this is happening. So here we are now. We had a run that had a lot to do with speculation and hope. In the video, I go into more detail about it. And I just wanted to thank every single investor that went ahead and took the time to make their honest opinions and valid information, trying to help other investors and say, hey, you know, when I find out what's going on, I'll be back and I'll comment to here so everybody can know, you know, that right there speaks in high volumes of you individuals and also of the community as a whole. And that's what I want to continue to keep this as. I apologize if I'm talking a little bit more than I should other than the charts, but I want to say thank you to you all. Thank you to all the subscribers and everyone in this community. And I hope that we continue to learn and grow together, right? Let's make some money. So here we are seeing this in a bearish direction. We're below the 50 day moving average. I stated that if this broke through support, it would hit newer lows and we needed to watch this carefully and so forth. And here we are, but this is not such a steep fall, right? So this was steep here, but here it's leveled off. If you see it here, it was steep throughout the whole process. It was just steep once, and here we are leveled off. I'm not saying that we're going to have a pullback in this direction, but if the bears lose control here and the bulls decide to appear, they could bring this one back up, and they're not that far from the 50-day moving average. So we need to watch this very closely. Now, support was broken through, and that was $29.95. That is slightly above the 50 day moving average, which we're going to talk about in just a moment. But we're going to look at our new support levels and resistance levels. This is a pretty narrow stretch here, but I want every single investor to pay very close attention to these numbers and also the numbers I'm about to talk about. So the 50 day moving average is important. It is 29. Let me see if I can land right on it. 89, 29, 89. Yeah, it jumps around. But to be exact, it's $29.89. If you want to round that up to $29.90, you're more than welcome to. But that needs to be broken through to get back into bullish territory. 
Now, if the bulls accomplish that, they need to break through this resistance. This is the highest point before the fall, and that's 3304. If you want to round that down to 33 cents, you're more than welcome to. But to be exact, 3304, that right there needs to be broken through and pulled away from in an upward direction to reach newer highs, new resistance levels, and get further away from the 50-day moving average. So I want every single investor to be aware of that, that this point does need to be broken through. It's not just the 50-day moving average. Woohoo, we're back in bullish territory. No, woohoo will actually be when this breaks through this resistance or gets as close as it can to it to hold itself up above the 50-day moving average. So I need every single investor to be aware of this because sometimes, you know, today's a red day. And it'll show you, oh, it fell down by two cents, right? And you you don't really notice that much of a difference. Oh, it's just two cents. You see it in your portfolio, but in the chart, you say, oh, it's two cents. And then it's looking red. If this goes up just one cent, it can start to look green. And when it looks green, it's just going to show you that it looks green on the entire thing here right instead of seeing the minus you'll see the plus because it's showing you the green from where it left off we need to pay close attention to these numbers this is the real green here 33 cents this is the beginning step of seeing a closer step to the real green 29.89 i can't land exactly on it but it's 29.89 these are the points that are really the real green the moment this goes up from 27.90 i want every single investor to be aware of this 27.90 just by one cent the next day it's already in the green it's a green day it's up one cent right and that's something that i've noticed about the market that the red and green days they kind of throw you off because you're focusing yourself on what was the red day what was the green day and a lot of beginning investors um and i'm stating this because i've seen a lot of comments that hey i'm new to investing Hey, uh, I've joined. Thank you so much. I'm glad I found this. I haven't done investing for much. And I'm talking to everyone and specifically you guys, but to everyone in the channel that sometimes these red and green days, they can fog your perception of what your true goals are because the red and green days aren't going based off of your portfolio or your purchase price. They're going based off of the overall market's day. And that's why these numbers and these chart analysis are key. Because, yeah, if it breaks through 33 cents, it's a super green day. It'll say that it went up 5 cents. Let's just say, for example. But if it breaks through support, it'll be a super red day. And it might seem like it's a terrible day. But if that support is recovered and it brings itself back up and it breaks through 27.90, right? It fell down there, it brings itself back up, and it barely touches resistance. This is 27.90. This is where we started. And it hits 28 cents and some change. We didn't even break through resistance, but it's a green day. That's what I'm trying to make everyone understand. That's why chart analysis are awesome. They're great because they quiet down all the noise. Speculation is great. I always talk about it. And news is great. It creates these moments. It's just knowing when to get in and when to get out. I'm not saying that this chart is completely destroyed. Because there has been a great support here formed at 23 cents. I've always stated if it breaks through 23 cents, our next step is down in the 18 cent range. But we haven't reached that. This has been holding itself up. But I want every single investor to understand that news and speculation is great. It makes this happen. The green and red is great because it attracts or disattracts investors. But these numbers are key fundamentals to pay close attention to how the stock is reacting. And obviously I'm here to share the information with everyone. It's an optional information. It's not an obligatory information. You're not obligated to write these numbers down or anything, but I do it in your guys' best interest. And so that we can all maximize profits and minimize losses. So I wanted to just kind of clear that up as well. I know I've been rambling about other things, other than the chart but it's so important to understand that these red and green days they sometimes don't let you see what's really important because green is really as far as we can get from 
this resistance, 2903. If this can break through that and work its way up, we're getting closer to a green day because green is past the 33 cent mark after breaking through the 50 day moving average to get bullish. But just going up a few cents or hundreds place or to the thousands place or just from 27.90 to 28 cents, it turns the day green because now we're up a certain percentage or a certain amount. And that's what I want every single investor to be aware of, to be cautious of, and keep in mind that these numbers really fog up, this disin fog up, right? All the fogativity, these words aren't even words, but all the fogativity that happens from all the news, the green and red colors, and the green day and the red day. This is what we really need to focus in on to know where this is going and what's going on. Obviously, I would never tell anybody to use this as their only source of information. I really encourage you guys to do your own due diligence, your own research. And again, this is optional, not an obligation to pay close attention to it. But I highly encourage you guys to look for other resources, other information. But keep in mind that this right here defogs all the fogativity, like I just said earlier. I don't even know if that's a word, but all the fogativity, what I mean is like everything that fogs up the perception of what's going on really in the chart because red and green day can kind of throw you off and also um, news can kind of throw you off on where this is going. If it's a, it's a bad news or good news and then kind of make you think it's really going to run up really high and then not much happens. These are the things we need to focus in on, but enough about that. I've talked about the 50 day moving average. I've talked about the 33 cent mark. I've talked about 2903. This does not mean that the bulls have gained control. This is the beginning catalyst for the bulls to get closer to the 50 day moving average. They need to turn that into a support. And I want to talk about the support level here, which is 2673. If that gets broken through, pay very close attention to how the stock is reacting. How much further is it getting from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction? Because that's the lowest point we've reached. And even in this sideways movement in this bearish run. So I want every single investor to be aware of it, pay close attention to it and keep it in mind. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community, and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watched this video. I really went ahead and talked about all that um, in detail about the fogativity and the red and green day, and then also about the previous video in the news, and thanking all of you guys because I do this for your guys' best interest, and I appreciate the community that we're building. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.